Alright, hello YouTube, this is a Conservatives Rock, and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of the Citadel from Mass Effect 3. Yeah, this is on the Citadel. Uh, I'm going to show you all sections of it. I don't think there will be any spoilers. Nah, no major spoilers, I don't believe. Uh, I'll try to avoid anything that might spoil the game in any way. But yeah... There might be a few tiny little things, that's about it. But we're going to do a tour to Citadel. I'll show you what the Citadel is, looks like on Mass Effect 3. So we're going to go here. Alright, we're going to dock. And that's basically what the Citadel... The Citadel on Mass Effect 3 is a space station. And this space station is where all the different alien species of Mass Effect 3 have their uh their embassies and stuff and it's just a center of galactic politics and lots of people live on the station it actually has cities on it and the main part of that ring you see the presidium is where like the politics are they have like there's a council of, made up of the four races and all that stuff and, you know, it's kind of like a UN of the galaxy, except a little bit more powerful than that. But y as you can see here, when you first go, you can select different things. There's the embassies, uh, purgatory, so a bar on the citadel, the refugee camp, where refugees are pouring in from the war with the Reapers. You had the hospital, and Presidium Commons, which is just like the uh, neat place. I'm gonna go no thanks and I'll show you all five sections of the citadel. You can see that that ring right there, that large round part, that's uh the presidium section of it. And the the branches off, the prongs that go off are the different wards where the cities are. And if you, as you look to your left you can actually see the the different prongs. There's like no dome over them. And there is gravity from the artificial gravity from the rotation of the citadel, according to the uh, journal. Like you can go in the journal, you can read all sorts of stuff in here. Guy, even talk to you on some of them. Like that, but yeah. You can see like shifts flying out there. It's real neat, real scenic. You can see the different wards. There's five wards that stick out. You're in the Presidium Ring. And this is one of the docking areas, and this is where you go to get on the Normandy. There is no, like, fast travel, like on Mass Effect 1 or 2 to the Normandy. You had to come to this section, then go on the Normandy. And as you can see, unlike on Mass Effect 1 and 2, you cannot carry guns around on the Citadel. Uh, security's gotten, like, really tight. As you can see, you go to the Citadel Embassies. We'll go to the Citadel Embassies. This loading screen, real neat loading screen, shows you the Citadel. The sky you see is a holographic fake sky with artificial sunlight. And according to the Codex, the journal, it says um, they do simulate nighttime too. But you never see it in the game. You see Citadel Embassies. And you got all that's the neat area. And when you walk around a citadel, you you can listen in to people's conversations sometimes. Hear them talking. Like that right there. And you're able to walk up to people and talk to them. Like I get to say something to her. It might have a minor spoiler, I'm not sure, so I'm not going to do it. And you have up here. I would go talk to Commander Bailey, but he might... He'll spoil something for you, so I'm not going to. But right here's a this is a Spectre terminal. You can go here and buy some things like uh, some schematics and stuff that you might have missed in a mission that you could have picked up to give to somebody for extra reputation and stuff. But you can um or even get assets. But um what you can do is you can uh, sometimes buy them on here from the black market. Spectre requisitions. 
and you also you'll have messages and stuff on there like you'll give certain authorizations that may have actually give you war assets like um I'll give you one ex yeah but you're gonna be like I don't want to spoil nothing for you but um yeah you'll be able to authorize some things enable some things possibly on there yeah so that's the spectre terminal and that's the human counselor's office um earth council the udina's office counselor udina's office and now to the next part of the citadel next is purgatory but basically as you get around a citadel you are going to be meeting the different characters of the game at times say like Liara, Ashley and stuff you're going to meet these characters at different times throughout the game you, you'll go and talk to people in the citadel and stuff and you really want to walk around a citadel and just talk to everyone if you want to unlock everything so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you one tip. Get at least five thousand effective military strength before you go into final battle. If you want the best possible ending. Yeah, that's how you get the best possible ending. Is have at least five thousand military strength. Yeah, here you got the VIP lounge. See, this is the area. This is just, you know, the, basically the club of the Citadel. One of the clubs that everybody goes in. And they dance and stuff. And by idiots. Alright, now then the next part is Citadel. Yeah, you do a lot of walking on the Citadel. A lot of running. I don't walk, I always run, always in a hurry. <laughs> okay, I've already been in the embassy. I haven't shown you the docking area. Overall, I really did like this game, and I like how the Citadel looks. It's a uh, very crisp, clean looking graphics. And the Citadel is a lot brighter than the previous game. It seems a little bit like a happier place, even though there's wars going on and stuff. It's like a memory wall that refugees put up. Uh, receiving this. But this is basically the refugee camp. It is a docking area, but it's now a refugee camp. Just uh, the refugees pouring in from the war. Humans, batarians, just all the species. Yeah, but you can walk through here sometimes, and you can hear the uh, different conversations and stuff. Like that girl right there, who's waiting for her parents. Is she telling the Turian guy? Security, c -Sec security. You'll see a lot of them standing around, walking back and forth. Uh, there's the hospital. You'll meet a few characters in the hospital. Of course, you meet characters in every section of the Citadel. I still can't get over how cool and bright, how, how much more bright and neat looking the Citadel is on Mass Effect 3. Yeah, you can see um, that the refugees are pouring in to the point <laughs> that gets full, but that's what you would expect. You would expect in a war, um, a lot of people are going to flee to the s Citadel when you fight the Reapers. But yeah, that's the hospital. And now I'll take you to Presidium Commons. Oh, and the thing is, you can, um... You can, um... Buy a few things on there, like extra meta gel. 
and a few other little things. And of course, you still got the Dome of Vina AI, v VI, to talk to. There's the yeah, there's the different stores around the Citadel still. Like, I think in the docks holding area, the refugee camp there is a uh, Batarian Arms, Batarian Arms terminal. But most of the stores are in the Presidium Commons. And there's almost nothing in um, the dock, docking bay where it normally is. Except you'll meet some characters there. Quite a few characters there at some point. At least a handful. You're going to meet a lot of characters in this area. and um, In this section of the Citadel. You've got uh, some uh, supplies there. There. And this is probably one of the neatest looking spots at the Citadel. And up here, in this one spot, I don't know if people know about this. But if you go right here and click it, you can listen to the Blasto 6 movie. <laughs> yeah. I actually wasted my time and did that one day. It's kind of funny. You look down here. That's the CSEC office. You got um, two terminals here. Two more stores down here. And I think no, nah, I don't think there is a terminal up here. Just a spot, a cafe area you can stand and look. But yeah, it's Citadel is really cool looking. I really like the Citadel and Mass Effect um three. It really is um interesting. And that's it. And um I'd like to thank you for watching my video. And I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Citadel, and I know I'm not real good with the commentary, but I'm working on it, and I hope I get better. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.